Welcome to this edition of Burn Tech University, presented by Vogelzang. In today's video, we'll show you the proper way to clean and maintain your VG5790 pellet stove. Always refer to your owner's manual. This video is for informational purposes only. If you are unsure about replacing any of the components on this stove, we recommend having a stove technician or, when necessary, a certified electrician do this for you. The tools needed to complete today's project include a burn pot poker, cleaning rags, and glass cleaner. Be sure the stove is completely cooled and unplugged before attempting any maintenance and or repairs to your stove. Painted surfaces may be wiped down with a damp cloth or rag. We recommend using a high quality glass cleaner to clean the glass on the inside and outside of the door. It is advisable to clean out the holes in the burn pot to remove any buildup that may prevent air from moving through the burn pot freely. This can be accomplished by using a burn pot poker. Now that your project is complete, you may reconnect power to your unit and check for proper operation. The tools needed to complete today's project include a fire safe container and paintbrush. The ash buildup on either side of the burn pot will need to be brushed to the side using a paintbrush. Periodically, remove and empty the ashes from the burn pot into a fire safe container. Using a paintbrush, gently brush away any ash remaining at the top back wall of the heat exchanger. Now that your project is complete, you may reconnect power to your unit and check for proper operation. The tools needed to complete today's project include a chimney sweep, a fire safe container, paintbrush, a 5 16th and 7 16th inch socket, an ash vac, a drill or number 2 Phillips screwdriver, gloves, and a ratchet. The inside of the burn chamber will need to be thoroughly cleaned using an ash vac. Periodically, remove and clean the burn pot and the area inside the burn pot housing. Using your ash vac, vacuum around the interior of the door to eliminate any ash or sawdust that may have accumulated over time. Now is a good time to check the condition of the door and glass gaskets. If either gasket is frayed in any way, the gasket will need to be replaced. There is a clean out plate on both sides of the heat exchanger that needs to be removed to clean fly ash out of the heat exchanger. The clean outs are located inside the cabinet doors on the lower front corners of the heat exchanger. Once the cleanouts have been cleared, the bolts will need to be tightened to ensure a good tight seal. Next, open the side panel to access the convection blower. Then, disconnect the wires from the convection blower as well as the wires from the room air thermodisc. Then, loosen and remove the bolts securing the convection blower to the stove housing. Once the blower is removed, Take your paintbrush and start on the outside of the blower and work your way toward the internal fan blades, brushing away the accumulated ash that has built up onto the component. Now
The ash vac can be used through the exhaust opening to eliminate any remaining ash. The interior of the stove housing will need to be vacuumed before mounting the blower back onto the stove. Check the blower gasket to make sure it is still in good condition. If it is frayed in any way, the gasket will need to be replaced. The interior of the back of the stove will also need to be vacuumed. Now, replace the convection blower back to the unit and replace the blower wires as well as the wires connecting the room air thermodisc to the blower. Repeat these steps for cleaning the exhaust blower. Loosen and remove the screws, securing the back panel to the stove. Once the screws are removed, the back panel can be moved away from the unit. The sealant around the exhaust will need to be removed prior to removing the three screws attaching the exhaust to the unit. Next, you will need to move the stove away from the exhaust pipe. Now, locate and remove the cleanout T, which may screw off, pry off, or twist free instead. Empty the ash buildup into a fire safe container. Using a 3 or 4 inch plastic or flexible steel bristled brush, sweep through the horizontal section of the exhaust. Repeat until you notice the soot and debris that emerges with the brush is growing less. Next, disconnect the elbow and termination cap to brush through the vertical section of your pipe. Use a swirling motion as you sweep down. Continue brushing back and forth until all debris and ash have been removed from the interior of your pipe. Replace the elbow and termination cap. Then insert and tighten the screws and cover with high temperature silicone sealant. Rejoin the bottom of the cleanout tee and return the stove back to its original position and reconnect the exhaust pipe to the unit. Then insert and tighten the three screws removed earlier for cleaning and reapply high temperature sealant. Now, replace the back panel. Then insert and tighten the screws. Now, turn the unit on, allowing the auger to run, releasing the remaining pellets from the hopper into the burn chamber. Next, Vacuum any pellets or sawdust remaining inside the hopper. Now that your project is complete, you may reconnect power to your unit and check for proper operation. Once again, this video is for informational purposes only. We strongly recommend a stove technician or, when necessary, a certified electrician do any repairs for you. If you need further assistance or have any questions, please visit us at vogelzang.com or give us a call at 1-800-222-6950. Thank you for watching this edition of Burn Tech University.